Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon. I'm part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video clip on resetting the System Manager's Web Console Admin User Password. So why do we need to do this? This is something that happens more often than we really think it would. Uh, it tends to be a customer's on site. They've tried to log into their web admin pages in System Manager. They're on their third time. They forgot their password. They've locked their access, and now they can't do their admin work. Or it could be a, a technician or an installer on site, and maybe it's a second day, and the person who created the password is not there, and they're putting in the wrong password, and again, after three tries, they're locked out. So this gives us a chance to be able to put the system back in play for the customer and for us to continue the installation. All this information is in the 6.1 release notes at the end. Again, this is the reason why we're going to reset this password. Either a customer and or an installer has basically locked up the web admin password. They'll get this error, login error. Please check your username and password. Need more help? Please contact your support team, and that's you. The next thing I want to show you is this is the back of the release notes for System Manager 6.1. Towards the end, it gives you the instructions that we're going to follow here today. Next step will be to open PuTTY. My first step will be to open PuTTY. As you can see, I'm connected to the services port of the server. My laptop is set up at 192.11.13.5 with a 30-bit mask. In my default gateway, 192.11.13.6. In the host name field of PuTTY, I will put in my IP address of System Manager and my private LAN. It is 10.200.101.205. The next step is I will move down to the open button and I will click the open button. As you can see we're in the box. Our next step is to log in as admin, put in the admin password. The command we're going to run requires us to be logged in as root so we're going to su to root, enter the root password. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a temporary group called security admin. The command we'll run to create this group is group add space dash g space 600 space security admin. Our next step will be to validate that the group was added. To validate that the group was added, we're going to run the command groups admin. So again, it's groups space admin. And again, you can see that security admin was not added to the admin login as a group. So we're going to have to skip to step four in the release notes. And the command we're going to run to add the group is user mod space dash A capital G space security admin space admin. Again, we need to validate the group. So groups space admin. And there it is, security admin. So at this point, we're in pretty good shape and we're going to have to open up our browser and log into System Manager Web Console. Okay, I opened up a new browser and that URL I'm going to put in the IP address of my private LAN I have for my System Manager, followed by forward slash SMGR. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 10.200.101.205 forward slash SMGR, enter. We are going to accept the digital certificate. We will click the continue to this website. At that point, we are now logged in. In the user ID and password field, we want to put in the user ID admin and the user ID password associated with admin in the Linux shell. So it'll be admin and the password in the Linux shell is also admin, A-D-M-I-N. At that point, we will move over when we finish that, and we'll click the Log On button. And that'll bring us to the security configuration. What we'll do next is we'll move up to the top URL, and we'll backspace out to the forward slash after 205. Then we will type in Password Reset with a capital R and Reset. So again, HTTPS 10.200.101.205 forward slash password reset and then we will press enter and this will bring us to the new password reset portion of it so the user ID we're going to reset is admin so we'll put admin in there you can see down below your usual password policy rules do not apply 
So what we're going to put here is going to be admin123. And then we'll confirm it down below. And then we'll click save in the right hand corner. And it will tell us in the left password change successfully. At that point, what we need to do is close the browser and open a new browser. So I've opened my new browser. We're going to put it, we log in to system manager. So our address followed by forward slash SMGR. We're going to going to accept the digital certificate. We are going to continue to this website. At that point, because I used an IP address instead of a fully qualified domain name, instead of putting in here, we're going to click on the change password underneath logon. At that point, we're going to log in here and put in admin. For the password, we'll put in what we just created, admin123. As you can see down below, we have different rules, right? Eight characters, one lowercase, one uppercase, one numeric, one special. And it tells us user password changed successfully in the left hand corner. Press the primary logon. That brings us back to the main page, which will log in with the user ID of admin. And we'll put in the password we just created. And click the logon button. This will bring us to the system manager admin pages. The customer can do their work. We can do our work. At this point, we will go back to the system manager Linux shell and make the appropriate final changes. As you can see, we're still logged into the Linux shell. We're still logged in as root. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rerun the groups admin command. So I type groups space admin. And this shows me that the security admin temporary group is still associated with admin. We want to remove that group association from admin so it can be used for future use. There's two possible ways to remove it. It all depends on how you created the group. The first way is associated with the group add space dash G 600. That did not work for us. The second way is associated with the user mod space dash AG that did work for us. The command we're going to run is going to be a group delete command. So we type in group DEL space security admin. Then we want to rerun the groups admin command. And again, now you see that the security admin group has been disassociated with the admin and we're finished for today. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thanks again for choosing Avaya.